All right, guys, you're going to have to bear with me a little bit here because I'm not sure how we're going to be able to fit the entire trifecta here in the, the, in the shot. So let's talk about my Phil Harvey trifecta. You saw in the thumbnail, I have the honor of owning the Gladius, the Peacemaker, and the War Crime. Now, I've done individual videos on all three of these, and I will link below to my Phil Harvey playlist. But I wanted to bring them all together and just, I'm not going to really talk about all the specs and all that stuff, but really just kind of show them all together on the same table was is really kind of my goal. And try to convey the mass ridiculousness and size and awesomeness of all three of these. Um, <laughs> so we have the Gladius here. We have my latest acquisition, the War Crime, which actually got a lot of views. I was very surprised at how many views this got. Um, and that video just went up a couple of days ago. But I think I, I nailed the thumbnail pretty good. So, uh, And then I have the Peacemaker, which is the biggest and heaviest of the bunch. It kind of just hides the other two underneath. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, we'll just kind of line them up here in similar fashion. So you can see by the clips that they're all different yet all very similar, okay? They're definitely brothers uh, and cousin, you know, however you want to put it, right? Oh, man, they're just awesome. So let me go in order by how I acquired them. And this is the Gladius. Made after, you know, a Gladius sword is the thought process there. You can choke up. <laughs> and it does fit in your pocket, okay? It's on the bigger side, but you can carry it. I think I've, I've owned this one the longest, and I have legit carried it in my pocket, I believe, one time when I first got it, and I was going to dinner with my niece and nephew and their kids. Uh, and so I did carry it in my pocket that day to show my nephew. So that was pretty cool. Um, this could use a sharpening for sure. But yeah, it's just massive. Now this is a two-handed close knife because this blades, this stock here, the scales are so thick. The lockup is so strong that it, it takes some work to release that lock bar, okay? It flies open pretty good, but yeah, it's, you're not, yeah, you're just not. And oftentimes what I will do is I will do the claw method and then slowly close this one and call it good. All right, so we'll set that one to the side a little bit. Now I got this one used, but I love it. I got that one from JP, a very good friend of mine. So we worked a deal and I was able to get it from him. And then I had been talking to Phil for a while since I got the Gladius. I had started talking to Phil because I was going to maybe send it to him and do some stuff and whatnot. And I told him that I wanted to get on the list for a peacemaker. So this one, I was able to pick up brand new from Phil. And yeah, this thing is, <laughs> okay, this does fit in your pocket also. In my jeans pocket, this fits. Not very comfortable to sit down with. It's not very comfortable to walk around with, but it does fit in the pocket. This one has just a massive blade, obviously, that has some gunk on it. Um, and this one is super sharp, like crazy, be freaking careful, sharp. And just look at this blade. 
And I know I talked about this in the full video, but this is a slab of hand rubbed satin D2, like a massive slab. And yeah, you can see my fingerprint there from opening it because it is a fingerprint magnet. But look at that, just the, the quality and craftsmanship. That's why you're buying this. And for the comical, awesome, ridiculous factor. Because it is fantastic. And whenever I post this on Instagram and Facebook, it gets so many comments. And most are, hey, that is the most crazy, sick, ridiculous, dumb thing I've ever seen. But where can I buy one? Because, yeah, it's, <laughs> this is over two pounds. Yeah, it's it's crazy. But awesome. And again, this one, same thing. Really tough to unlock. This one is really the claw method. And then super careful and very uh, deliberate closing of this one because I was a little bit distracted one time when I closed this and it almost cut my the tip of my pinky off. Uh, it, I bled like a stuck pig, okay? So that's the Peacemaker. The War Crime, and let me just move this out of the way for just a minute. The War Crime is the most current version in my collection. And I believe, yes, he made the Gladius first, he made the Peacemaker, and then the War Crime is the most current one that he's been making, I believe. I mean, he's working on some other things. He has a Peacemaker with a different style blade a little bit. So he does some, you know, variations of these for sure. But this one has the thickest blade at almost three quarters of an inch. And then it comes down to a very nice dagger type point. And this is the most pocketable and the easiest to unlock actually. This one I can easily do with my thumb, no problem. And I don't know, is it the most comfortable to hold? No, none of them really are. <laughs> I mean, these are conversation pieces, guys. That's really what these are, is these are art craftsmanship knives that really uh, are for conversation, for Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, you know, that that's why I have them. And because I'm a collector, because I just collect knives. And I like the big overbuilt knives. And so it works for me. And as I was concerned, they don't really fit. So let me zoom out uh, to 0.5. It's a little fish eye, but we could throw a few things in here to give you some perspective. Even with the little, you know, super wide angle lens on my phone here, it's iPhone 12 Pro, so this is the 0.5 zoom. But we have a AA battery. We have a D cell battery that fits pretty much right in that fuller channel, if you will. Don't even know what to call that exactly because it's just so massive. Um, the Spider Codelica will squeeze in there just to kind of give you guys a little bit of perspective on um, just how big and massive these are. If I go back to one time zoom or just normal view, you can still see just how big they are based on some other knives. And we'll just do a couple of other size kind of comparisons here. The Demco AD20. It's just, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. These things are just so massive and nuts, but I love it. Uh, let's go with the Hellraiser P-Series because why not? Uh, what else do I have just laying around right here that you would know? Um, the Shark Nivco Ryu, 
just did a video of this morning at time of filming or the this Ryu video just went live this morning um, at the time of filming but so yeah these are a little bit on the crazy side How about an FW 3a flashlight and a double a O light so there you go guys I will put a link to my Phil Harvey playlist down below so you can go and uh, feel free to check out the individual videos on these because yeah there are just something to look at they are just amazing and I'm super honored that I've been able to become friends with Phil and chat with him and talk about his process and all that and I talk a lot about that in the Peacemaker video so please go and watch that down below and have a great day. Let me know what you think of the massive, crazy, ridiculous, overbuilt knives. I know that most people aren't going to want to buy them because they are rather expensive. These are all over $1,000, okay, um, and up. So, you know, even used. So, you know, they're close to two grand a piece, give or take. A um, little bit less on these two, a little more, but, you know, you get the idea. Um, but do you think they're cool or do you think they're absolutely stupid? I would love to really hear your opinions down below. So thanks for watching everyone. Have a fantastic day.